Hey guys, Jason here. So it's been a while since I've done a video blog, so I figured I'd do one for you now. I got a lot going on right now, personally and musically, so I figured I'd give you guys an update. Uh, let's start with personal. Uh, if you're a fan or a friend of my Facebook, then you've noticed that I've had a few new additions to the family. The first one being my puppy, and I say puppy in air quotes because he is five and a half months old and about 70 pounds. He is huge. Um, his dad was like 120 pounds or 15, and his mom was like 97. So he's going to be a big dog. And he's already huge, and his paws are still huge, and he still has the wrinkles. So he still has a lot of body to grow into. And it's kind of really bizarre to, you know, see how big he is and re try to remember he is still a puppy. But at five and a half months, he can sit, shake, uh, and lay down and we play um, a fetch well we play his idea of fetch which is basically I throw the ball he get he runs and gets the ball we chase him around the yard until he gets tired and lays down and drops the ball and then we grab the ball and do it again as opposed to my idea of fetch where I throw the ball and he actually brings it back so hopefully we'll uh, be working on getting closer to my idea soon uh, uh, so that's about, oh, I got one more personal thing, and that's, uh, the other member of my family. I, uh, living on the lake here in Nashville, we, uh, decided that we needed a mouser. So I wanted to get a cat to, you know, keep an, uh, keep an eye on the mice and the, uh, spiders and such. And so I went on Craigslist, which I just don't seem to have good luck on Craigslist. So, uh, they're coming to get me. Okay. But I've, but I've found a cool cat named Cookie. And uh, Cookie's pretty cool. Uh, the only problem with Cookie is we found out shortly after we got her a couple weeks that uh, Cookie became Cookie came to us preloaded. So now, two months later, I have a cat and six kittens. So seriously, any of my Facebook friends, Nashville area, if you are in the market for a kitten, I can hook you up. So... Uh, Personally, that's about it. Now we go to Musical.ly. This is a lot of stuff happening. I actually recorded this vi exact video blog yesterday, but it ended up being 17 minutes. And uh, my limit on YouTube right now is 15, so I couldn't, uh, I didn't want to edit it, so I figured I'd just re-record it. So that's how much stuff. So I'm actually going to cut that back, and I'll just do another video blog uh, with some more information soon. So let's start with uh, the new CD. I'm actually sitting here getting ready, uh, working on a song for the new CD, just doing some mixing and such. And uh, this is the track list for Spin. Um, if you're a fan or friend on Facebook, then you saw about, oh, a little less than a month ago, I posted a rough draft for a song called I Know This Guy. Which a uh, very fun song. I like it. it. Has a really cool little twist in it, and I enjoy that. And then about three days ago, I released a rough draft for "Ring Around Her Toesy," which is an idea I had a while back, and uh, finally got around to to recording it and finishing it. And I've gotten so many great compliments and comments about it. So uh, I'm definitely glad that the song turned out the way it did. So I have seven songs completely done, ready for spin. Well, when I say completely, I mean I'm I still need to get the lead guitar on there, which we'll talk about in a minute. I need to do some final mixing, and I may have to do a punch in vocally here and there and stuff, and maybe just a little bit of work. But for the most part, I'm moving on to the next song. And so I have seven songs in that phase, and I'm putting ten on here, so that leaves me room for three songs left. One of the songs is one I can't really talk about right now because I'm um, in talks about uh, doing this with a country artist, uh, some of you may know, and I'm very excited about that, uh, possibly doing a duet and co-writing it with him. Uh, so that would leave space for two more. I have four other songs that the music is completely recorded. I just need to come up with the lyrics, and I'm not just going to just throw any lyrics on there and give my fans crap so it's taking a little while it's not my normal way of writing my normal way of writing is to have my guitar and 
write as I'm as I'm writing the, the music, come up with the words. Uh, usually that's where I how I do it. I have a cool idea for a song, start playing around. But every once in a while, I'll have a great idea for um, oh, it could be anything from a guitar progression to a neat drum beat, and I'll write a song around that. And if I don't have the lyrics right away. I don't want to rush it and make it crap by just throwing any lyrics in there. So, but I don't want to lose the vibe that I'm getting from the, the song, the energy and, and all that. So I'll go in and I'll record it. And that's what this song here is one of those songs. I did actually have a verse and a chorus and I believe that's what it's going to end up staying. I just need to finish it. I don't think I'm going to uh, take it out because I love it. And it's a song called Smile. I just need to finish, uh, finish writing a couple of the verses and uh, this will be done. So that will leave room for one more space to go and I, I think I already know the song that's gonna get there. So that leaves uh, two songs partially done for the next CD. So uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? That's uh, the progress, I hope to have that out in, I would love to have it out in uh, June or July, at the very latest August. It's gonna depend on uh, a factor that I'll talk about a little bit in a little bit but uh so the lead guitar for the new CD is going to be done by an amazing guitar player here in Nashville he in my opinion he's one of the best in the country he actually I'm not gonna tell you who it is right now because I haven't totally nailed it down once he actually is in the studio recording with me uh, it'll be good I just haven't nailed it down yet so he is uh he had the number four blues album on the blues billboard charts so his cat is awesome and super nice guy and we've become friends and he wants to do the lead on the new cd and he also actually wants to do some uh, co-writing and maybe even make an appearance vocally on one of the songs uh which i already have um i have a song called night after night that i think I might that might be one of the songs we do together I'm not sure yet uh, still working on that but so that's where the C the CD stands the next thing I want to talk about is uh, kind of personal and musical and that is very simply uh, if you're a fan of mine or friend on Facebook unless you're kind of new within the last couple months you may remember that back on my birthday last year May 29th I was hospitalized for about a week and diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Well, I've worked with a lot of charities in the past and I decided I wanted to, uh, it was time to get back involved. And so I uh, am in, in talks with uh, some young ladies here in Nashville with the uh, Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. And it looks like I'm gonna be doing a couple uh, benefit concerts uh, for them and, and playing at some of their events. So that's gonna be really cool. I'll be able to give you more details once we have our meeting. And once we get, I don't know why my phone just bleeped, but it bleeped. Uh, once we get everything, my phone, my computer. Uh, once I get everything nailed down, I'll, I'll let you guys know and that way fans and friends in Nashville can uh, let you know where you can come see me play. What else? I guess that brings me to the last thing, which is, you know, I don't really, bombard my Facebook friends with uh, things like buy my CD you know hey go check out my CDs I have my CDs on sale buy guitar picks mouse pads I, I don't do that I, I just never really the most I really ask for is uh, I'll ask people to hey if you haven't liked my music page yet go like it or, or tell your friends and tell your friends friends and all that but usually I like to give my fans free stuff like uh, I've uh, in the last month I've given you guys um, two sneak peeks of rough cuts from the new CD and I've also recorded a video for a cover tune by Jason Mraz his new one uh, I won't give up I really dig the tune and I know a lot of my fans also like it so I went it and I recorded it uh, videotaped me singing it and posted it about five days ago or so so y'all are being able to uh, check that out. I'm, got, I'm getting a lot of good compliments. Uh, Mraz is one of my favorite guys. So 
I, I like doing that kind of stuff, and I like being able to give my fans stuff. But coming up in about about a week or two, I am going to need your help. I'm starting a Kickstarter project. Now I'll go into a lot of details. I'm actually going to do a whole video blog on my Kickstarter project. But just to give you a, a real short uh, synopsis of what's going on, is the Kickstarter project will help me finish the Spin CD as well as help me get into the year 2012 musically as far as my... I'm not going to be bringing and selling CDs at my shows and, and online. I'm going to be uh, converting everything digitally and getting them onto iTunes and and uh, Amazon Music Store, Rhapsody, iHeartRadio, Napster, all these sites. And I'm also going to, instead of selling CDs at my shows and online, I'm going to be selling uh, download cards. So you'll be able to scratch the back of the thing like a lottery ticket um, and enter that into the computer at a website and it'll, you'll be able to down, it'll download the whole CD straight to you. And so that takes some money to be able to get all that converted over and get copies of the, of the CDs to be able to sell and give away. I'm going to be doing some contests and stuff. And so I will tell you all about that. The one neat thing I'll tell you is you know, you're going to have a chance to get some really cool stuff. Uh, some autographed download cards. Um, and uh, you know, if the price is right for a certain pledge, I'm actually going to videotape myself playing an acoustic song to you. And then I'll sign the guitar and send it to you. So that might be a neat way to get one of uh, my autographed guitars. So that's about it for right now. I'll give you a lot more details on the Kickstarter coming up real soon. Until then, I need to get back to finishing up working on Spin. So you'll get another... I still have more things to talk about, but I don't want to go over too long. So I'll give you another video blog update here, in a, hopefully in about a week or so. But until then, y'all, be well, be safe, and keep on rocking. Hey, and don't forget to go check out my Facebook page, like it, and tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to like it. Take care, guys.